No, no, ya están cerrando. No tenemos masitas. Un caracol a la luna. Negrito, yo te llevo a volar Ay, al fin por en casa. el cielo. Mira, globo, esta es mi casa. Quieres ver mi like this characters, um, the animation style. I really, I thought this was really moving, and jeering and a touching story. It was very cute to watch, and I really enjoyed it. I like this one. It was a little snippet of life set to a children's song. That was pretty cool. Yeah, and I totally loved the little puppets. They were made out of clay or whatever it was. It was very, very. Creative. Creative. Yeah, I thought yeah. this was great. It's really, you know, touching and, and cute, charming piece. Um, I feel like where it really succeeds beyond, like, obviously, like, the stop motion is, is gorgeous, like, the kind of, like, claymation style, like, really, really technically well done. Um, but, yeah, I feel like genuinely the performances of the actors who were doing the voices for the, the mom and the daughter were... Um, great they uh, i mean they just they have a great chemistry and were able to bring a lot of like life and um yeah, humanity to to this uh short film i thought the so, claymation was super impressive you don't see it as much anymore so i thought that that was really f like a really a uh, nice medium to use and it's like tons of work and a lot of effort so I definitely appreciated it and so when I see it I'm like oh like this took so much dedication and to have it be done well also takes a lot of work um so I thought that that was it was really well done it um is what I noticed first and I think it realized it like really highlighted how hard it must be to be a single parent it was and really sweet and authentic uh it came full circle from eileen's mother being irritable somewhat removed from her daughter uh to changing her motivation um towards the end she wanted to pull her down from the moon and cuddle with her and and, and apologize um i enjoyed its playful nature and um uh, everyone likes a good ending i like the way that the mom and the child the whole dynamic with them about the kid just wanting attention and the mom kind of getting frustrated but I mean she really loves her kid in the end so she made her the cookies and made it all up to her. It was a cute little story and it was a nice one to watch. It's a uh, very charming Spanish film uh, with um, a great father, I mean great mother-daughter story and um, yeah presenting the challenges of parenting and um, you know how the kind of uh, ebb and flow of the uh, relationship between mother and daughter and how it can be annoying and wonderful all uh, at the same time so uh, I thought it was a, a great um, mechanism to kind of cover that terrain and very cute story to go along with the poem. I always enjoy stop motion, and I thought Aelin on the Moon was uh, wonderful. Um, the language didn't get in the way at all. It actually just made it that much more interesting and engaging. Um, and it wasn't even really necessary to, uh, I mean, I do speak a little Spanish, but it wasn't even necessarily to hear the words because having a five-year-old myself and um, watching my own wife and her frustrations for her little guy she loves so much but sometimes it it just gets impossible to do everything um it hit those notes so perfectly and um just a beautiful use of creative stop motion claymation which you don't get the chance to see very often anymore so beautiful simple but very relatable story and uh wonderful work. I really liked the titles and transitions in the opening sequence. Um, right after that, it jumped right into the little girl and the mom walking in the street, and there was captions playing right away. Um, I liked that I was able to read all the captions, um, and it gave me enough time to read the whole thing and also see what's going on before it jumped to the next scene or sequence. I thought it was interesting when <laughs> the mom had like eight arms throughout the animation a couple of times. Um, 
I like I thought it was like really interesting and like funny when the little girl was saying, Mommy, I'm also an octopus and the mom had like eight arms while she was doing things. So it's a really clever use of metaphor and what this moon is. Um that Eileen is on, very traditional looking, um, the animation and uh, decor within the animation captures that feeling, that frustration. Um, I believe this is another stop action type film using models, which um, was created even in its use of how do you represent an oven baking cookies. Um, so kudos for the model builders.